Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, today we're going to talk about a cryptic message that your boy OTF Boss Top put out there. Um, Y'all know, I don't know what it is with these guys. They like to do a lot of subliminal tweeting where they don't say the person's name, but they make it pretty obvious who they're talking about. But then they try to like deflect who they're talking about and say that they're not talking about them. But in reality, they really are talking about them. And um, it seems like Boyle Top is definitely like the king of that. Um, he does it a lot. Um, not only him, though, it's a couple of them. Lil Durk especially. But um, today we're going to talk about this tweet that he put out there, right? And the reason I think that this like makes so much sense. And we know exactly what he's talking about. He's talking about Asian and it came out at a time the way the reason why he's talking about Asians because of what Jada Kingdom said when she was exposing Asian Doll for, you know, pretty much her man and Asian Doll going back and forth. You know, Nas BK, the Bronx Drill rapper. And she pretty much exposed Asian Doll. She was Asian Doll, like, best friend. So she was around for a lot. Now, she said a lot of things in this live she put out there. And I actually recorded the live, but for some reason... I haven't put it out yet. It's so much curses. I got to edit. You know, <laughs> she was cursing like every other second. But I'm going to put it out there probably after this video. I'm going to put it out there so y'all can get it yourself. But um, she let a lot of information out there. Let me tell y'all, um, she knows a lot. You could you could see that she was holding back with a lot of things she was saying. Um, You could see that she wanted to say a lot of things, but she held back and didn't say it. Um, it's even at one point where she was saying that she could she could actually go there. You know, when somebody's saying like, mm, I'm, you know, that's pretty much what she was doing. She just, and she said she wasn't scared about whatever's going to come behind, whatever she says and whatever. So like I said, she knows some things, but she just didn't want to spill too much of the beans for whatever reason. Um, she also let us know that Gunna, Drake, <laughs> and a couple other dudes was in her DM. She kind of blew them out the water. So if they got any type of girlfriends or somebody they taking serious behind the scenes well guess what that's out the window they seen that but um yeah so let's get to on um, this tweet so we could further explain what we're talking about now this tweet comes from boss top earlier today and he said this he said quote folks knew that ho you know was sneaky right now somebody else replied because you know like i said everybody know what he's talking about but He's going to deflect it and make it seem like he's not talking about that person. And somebody pretty much said their spill on it because they knew who he was talking about. Then he said, well, whoever you think I'm talking about, we probably not even talking about the same people and blah, 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 whatever the case may be. Now, the reason why he's talking about Asian dolls, because Jada Kingdom, when she was exposing Asian doll, she also said that um, Asian doll was you know sleeping around with other guys while she was with king vaughn you know she let it be clear that you know she was doing x y and z and here's my thing about it before i even elaborate on that right with boss top and asian doll and Lil dirt they all got like this weird thing where you see i say folks already knew that she was doing whatever she was doing my thing is this if y'all notice why y'all let her run around with this whole uh, Queen Vaughn and let her get tattoos and doing X, Y. Why y'all doing that? Why y'all allow her and nobody's saying anything? You see what I'm saying? She's running around with um uh, Duke looking a little too close. And my thing is this. Even if King Vaughn wasn't taking her serious like that, I mean, we already know that he wasn't on her body before he passed away. We knew how he felt, felt about her because he made it very clear how he felt about her when he used to insult her. However, if you supposed to be my friend, you're not supposed to be that close to my girl or whoever she claimed she was to King Vaughn. You see what I'm saying? Now, when it comes to Borsop, once again, if y'all knew she was sneaky, you know, in the whole nine yards, why do y'all continuously let her run with this Queen Vaughn narrative and she's this? He was this to me. Because all she doing is embarrassing this man's legacy. You see what I'm saying? The more she keeps trying to associate herself with um 
King Vaughn. It makes, you know, every time somebody think of him and they see her antics and what she's doing out here, it makes him look bad. And we all know that he was not messing with her prior to his passing. You see what I'm saying? So it makes it, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Y'all let me know um, how, what y'all think in the comments. But that's personally what I think. Um, every time we think of him and then we got to see her talking about she was this to him and all that it kind of taints his legacy and the character that he he portrayed the person he was you see what i'm saying king, and it's funny because it seemed like king vaughn kept himself he held himself to a higher standard you know um he made sure when he was alive that nobody played with him any type of crazy way you know he he was him all right but it seemed like once he passed away it's a lot of weird stuff that's concerning his name and who he is and, and his character but it has nothing to do with him it's just the fact that he's not here to defend himself but moving along right so um i'm assuming that asian doll fans um once they seen that and like i said nobody's nobody's foolish everybody know who he's directing that tweet to whether he say it or not um everybody know who he's talking about right it's just a coincidence that he said that right after well, the day after, Jada pretty much blew everything out the water with um her going live and saying what she said or whatever the case may be. But um, yeah. So I guess uh Asian Dolls fans, you know, was all in his tweets and you know saying what they were saying. Then somebody else commented this um as a reply. They said, "Quote: People have no clue who this man talking about, but I could guarantee it's a guilty." Uh, H words fan in the quotes talking ish and boss up uh, reposted it alright now let's dig a little deep with that right because if he wasn't talking about her right if he wasn't talking about her and they supposed to be cool or whatever the case may be why would he retweet that knowing that this man just called her out of her name you see what I'm saying out of respect if I had a friend you know, and somebody says something about that friend out of line. I'm not gonna sit there and repost it, retweet it, whatever the case may be. So that, that, like, it's little things like that you gotta watch for, right? Then he also retweeted something else where somebody said, "Um, he ain't even name drop. Y'all putting a name on it." And this is what they, th and this is what I'm saying. This is the confusion they do. They think just because they don't put names and they don't attach names to certain things that nobody know who they talking about. But it be common sense. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? It'd be common sense. That's like that's like a dude going to the precinct and saying, yo, I ain't gonna tell you nobody. I ain't gonna say who did it, but then he's pointing with his elbow. <laughs> or he's pointing with his finger in the direction of the person who did X, Y, and Z. And um, knowing Asian though, I'm sure she's gonna respond. She probably do it the same way. She probably do it um subliminally too. But even them, they got a weird relationship. Cause if you're not I don't know. At one point they was cool, you know, when the whole King Vaughn situation happened. But if if I remember correctly, as a, as a matter of fact, Asian Doll was the one that was dissing boss topping them when she was like, "Oh, y'all was there, y'all ain't do nothing." X Y, y'all remember that that rant she went on? Um, that's I, I got all that in the um in the video we covered when you know the situation with King Vaughn first happened. If y'all want to check it out, you gotta go all the way, you know, back and find the video. But it's definitely there. Um, she was dissing boss hopping everybody else that was around she was glorifying Muwap saying he was the only one that did some and yeah so um let's see how let's let's see where this goes all right um y'all let me know y'all feel in the comments below do y'all think um he was talking about asian doll maybe we just tripping maybe he was talking about somebody else like he said he was all right, so let us know in the comments, man. Don't forget to like, comments. Oh, and once again, um, the Jada Kingdom, we're gonna upload that that um video with her exposing Asian Doll saying everything that she was saying and all that. Um, I'm about to put it up after this, and I'm also gonna do a video talking about it too, because not only did she say that thing about King Vaughn and, and, and Asian Doll sleeping around on King Vaughn, she mentioned a lot of stuff, man. And I'm just happy all of this is coming to light because we've been saying that. We've been saying that Asian doll is just sitting there harvesting this man's energy, trying to rap like him, sound like him, you know, riding that whole wave. And she, you know, she's been around Asian doll for the longest. And she's saying the same thing 
that we were saying. It's just the fact that, you know, we not around her. So every, her, her fans being delusional. Oh, no, she's really depressed. She's this. Guess what? Now we got somebody that was actually there with her the whole way. Not the whole way, but for a very long time. And they pretty much saying the same thing that we said, man. And um, she's saying that she just chases clout. She lies, you know, just for clout. All right. And um, yeah. So let us know how you feel about that in the comments below, man. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.